With snow finally melted away, spring season is well on its way. According to Asthma Allergy Foundation of America, the blooming of green trees and front lawn result to over 40 million Americans falling victim to the spring allergies every year. This seasonal allergy condition, commonly referred to as hay fever, is an annoyance for many students here on the Whitewater campus. For students who fall victim to the daily symptoms of sneezing or runny nose, they visit the University of Whitewater Health Clinic to find the correct vaccination or medications. Seasonal allergies are certainly the most common type that we would see and treat around here. Um, it's not just spring, but any sort of seasonal kinds of changes will do that. Spring is a, a good time because there's a lot more pollens and molds and other things that might be out springing around in the air, floating around that people are exposed to. From sniffling to sneezing, the allergy sufferers truly know when spring season has arrived. The billions of tiny pollens that cause allergy symptoms actually comes from the tiny grains released in the air by blooming trees and weeds. These tiny pollen grains cause the immune system to react negatively. What it does is it irritates some of our respiratory kinds of linings in our nose and throats and lungs um, and causes a whole cascade of kind of uh, cellular garbage to be made which causes all of our uh, nasal congestion and symptoms. Um, and some people just respond much more um, severe than maybe other people might. If you have never been diagnosed with spring allergies, but you notice that your eyes and nose are constantly itchy and runny during the spring months, come visit the University Health Center to make an appointment or by calling 262-472-1300. For UWW-TV, I'm Brent Leiterman.